Hey Sunshines, it's Christy and welcome back to my channel. And this is Milo. He's gonna hang out and nap in the background. He is zonked. I would love to sleep that soundly during a nap. He's living his best life for sure. So today I actually have my Wantable box to share with you. If you are here for the clothing boxes, you guys, I have over the next 12 days, I think I'm gonna put a video up every other day, will be some form of a clothing box or haul or closet clean out or something. So make sure that you're subscribed and you have that bell turned on so you don't miss anything. But today's video is all about Wantable. Now I did do a Wantable clearance edit um, for my last Wantable video and you guys really liked that. If any of you ordered a Wantable clearance box, how did it do? I thought my box was pretty good. I didn't end up buying anything, but I thought it was pretty close to my style and I just wonder if you guys got one and if so, how it did. So this is my regular Wantable box. If you're new to the Wantable world, it's like pretty much any other clothing box except you get seven items instead of five. It is a $20 styling fee. If you buy one or more pieces of clothing, the $20 is credited back to your account. If you buy five or more, you get a 20% discount. And there is a postage page envelope inside that you can send back anything that doesn't fit or you don't like. I do love Wantable specifically for their denim. I find that some of my favorite denim comes from Wantable, but I will also acknowledge that Wantable can be a little bit pricey. It's one of the pricier boxes. I feel like they give the smallest amount of discount when you buy five, but I do find some really great pieces from my wardrobe, a couple of Michael Starr's tops that I really enjoy. And so I do like this box despite being a little bit pricey. So let's go ahead. Oh, I can't get my bundle out and see what they sent me. Oh, I'm ripping it. So Wantable sends a lot of basics and then they throw in just a pop of color. So you're gonna see lots of blues and blacks and grays and then usually a great pop that looks like an orange that's gonna be so pretty on me. So let's go ahead and take a peek inside. I will link, not link, but I'll list everything below for you that's in this box. Um, so if you wanna order one, you can just click on my link and then request the item right away. The bag that you can send back anything you don't want. And then I did get the note for my stylist along with the seven items. I do feel like with Wantable, the note from the stylist is sort of a cut and paste note that everybody gets. I don't know, that's just my personal feeling. Okay, so the first item in here is, what is this? Oh, oh, I like this. Okay, this is by Democracy. This looks like me, does not, does it not? Look at the fun sleeves. Oh, I like this. It's got sort of a navy at the bottom and yeah, and then the three stripes and then it does have a stitching down the back, like a little navy stitching. This is cute. Now this actually, this is funny because this actually says spring six but I feel like it's totally fall with the colors. I don't know, I really like that shirt. So this shirt is $54, it's the 3 4 V-neck tee top and off-white. So super cute, happy with that one. All right, the next item in here is this pretty sort of orangey sweater. It's more like fleece, it's like the inside of a sweatshirt. So it's super soft. And it's sort of got that little bit of crisscross neckline. This is a pretty color. Wow, this is nice too. Is it a sweatshirt? It's kind of a sweatshirt because it's got the little sort of cuffs at the sleeve here. Huh, that's interesting. This Oh, this is by Z Supply. So it's sort of like the best of both worlds. It's comfy because it's that fleece and it's got that sweatshirt sleeve, but it's a little bit elevated with the neckline. I'm, I'm kind of for it. So that is $68. Z Supply is expensive. I've acknowledged that in the past, but I do really like that brand. It washes well, it dries well, it doesn't shrink. I have t-shirts from Z Supply over several years that still look brand new. And this is in the color Russet Henna. So pretty, I love the first two items I'm excited about. All right, the next item in here is, oh, this is kind of cute too. It seems like they sent me like really comfy sort of basics. It's just this gray and black sort of baseball tee. I do love a good baseball tee. That's nice. 
So this is by Project Social. And let's see. They're calling that the Aiden, Aiden Burnout Raglan in charcoal and black. And it is $58. So that is a little bit pricey for that. It's really cute though, okay? The next item in here is sort of a fleecy something. Or not a fleecy, a waffle knit. Mm, yeah, I don't, I don't know about this. This is by Dex. It's got the tie in the front, the little knot. I don't know, I, I'm kind of over that style to be honest with you, but watch me put it on and love it, that's so funny. So it looks like that. Very, very soft, very easy to wear. Throw in a pair of black booties and you're good to go. I don't dislike it, I'm just not sure. I'll have to see what it looks like on. So that is the button down top with tie front for, I think it says $50. They put their prices in this really light red. Here, I'm gonna see if I can show you. And they're really hard to read under these lights because my filming lights are pretty bright. So if I'm like, <laughs> that's why. Okay, the next piece in here, I really actually like everything. I don't dislike anything so far. Okay, so this next piece is by Wantable. This is sort of a long dolman style tunic. I do like the color. So if you're gonna wear leggings, this would be cute. Or skinny jeans and tall boots. I don't, because of my, the way my hips are, I don't feel like tall boots work for me. This is pretty though, the color is gorgeous. Wantable pieces, in my opinion, I like the Wantable brand. I feel like it's very on trend, but I also feel like it's a little thinner than it needs to be and about ten dollars pricier than it needs to be that's my personal opinion and this is the hockey dolman top in navy and it's for 48 dollars. actually i thought that was going to be more expensive all right the next item is a gray oh this is cute too they just sent me really nice basics so this is called by design it's just a big oversized gray comfy cozy sweatshirt this is so incredibly soft. It does have like a ribbing down the arm, which probably will be flattering. And then it has a seam down. Oh, it has a seam down the front and the back. You see that? Gosh, this is so soft. And it feels like that material that's going to be very, very warm. Mm, no, it's just regular. It's polyester and nylon. Maybe that's why polyester doesn't really breathe, so it does definitely keep you warmer. Wow, it's really soft. I'm surprised. Okay, that is the Bonnie V-neck pullover in charcoal heather for $48. That's actually a decent price. I know some of you are cringing, um, but honestly, for once of all, these prices aren't bad. And then the last thing that I got is a pair of Liverpool jeans. I feel like I've been getting a ton of Liverpool jeans. Are these boyfriend? I've never tried. Okay, these are the slim boyfriend. I haven't tried these from Liverpool. I have a pair of boy, boyfriend jeans on now. You know what though? Kind of like, I like the distressing. I don't mind it, but I have enough of it in my closet. So pretty much off the bat, I'm going to say no to these. I have a pair of Catherine boyfriend jeans that are distressed, but I'm anxious to see the fit of these. So I definitely will try them on. Okay, I'm this is probably, in my opinion, the best Wantable I've ever received. I do not dislike anything. They're all pieces that you could find in my closet. I feel like it's totally my style. So let's go ahead and see how the fit goes and I'll be right back. All right, so here's the first outfit. First, let's talk about the Liverpool boyfriend jeans. These are super comfortable. I am a boyfriend jean type of girl. I just think that they fit me through my hips and thighs a little bit better. I don't have a lot of pulling. These are a little wider at the bottom. They're really, really comfortable. This, this pair of jeans is my style. I'm not going to get them. I own something very similar, but I do like them just as well probably as a Catherine boyfriend jean from Cut From The Cloth. They're really cute. And then this shirt's so interesting. I wish that it went white all the way down. There's like this band of navy at the bottom. It's kind of hard to see, but it gives the illusion of the shirt being shorter. I don't know. 
The sleeves are interesting too because they're not a bell sleeve. They're just a little bit wider. But I feel like because the stripes are here and a little bit bigger, it slims this part of your body out. I don't know if you guys would agree with that or not. It is a little bit sheer. Remember that I've got a big ring light and an umbrella light, so it's probably not as sheer as you're seeing. Although I do have a pink, like a light pink bra on. <laughs> so I probably have to wear like a nude bra or a nude cami. And it's definitely long enough with this hint of navy. I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about it. Let me know your thoughts. I'm gonna do a poll. I'll pop it in the comments right here. So just go ahead and click on the I and down will drop a box and you can vote yes or no for this shirt. The V is nice. It feels good. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's move on to the next top. All right, so the next item is this really cute Z Supply top. And I have to say, I said this in the opening, this is like the perfect blend of stylish but super comfy it's got the band on the little cuffs and at the bottom like a sweatshirt would but it's got this pretty detail that dresses it up a little and the color is stunning i just feel so cozy in this but i feel like a little more dressed up than i feel if that makes sense this is really pretty and also if you have longer arms the arms on this are longer and i find that my arms shrink so I like that the arms are a little bit longer. It's pretty. I'll turn around on the back. This is in the definite maybe category. I have to see what else I love. So hang on. All right, so the next top is this little baseball shirt, which I think is cute. Again, the sleeves are long. Do you guys have trouble with your sleeves shrinking though? I actually don't mind the sleeves being long and I usually pull up my sleeves like this anyway. I don't wear them long. This is really, really cute. I have a lot of baseball tees in my wardrobe. I feel like a good baseball tee is like a grab and go easy sort of uniform piece for me, but this one just doesn't feel special. It's just kind of plain. So I think I'm going to pass on this one, but I, I think it's cute. Okay. Okay, I actually want this exact shirt, but in like an oatmeal or natural color. I have this really pretty rest and brown Runa, and I want an oatmeal sort of thermal Henley to go under it. I've been asking a ton of my stylists for them. They're hard to find because a lot of thermal shirts are really, really fitted, and this one just has some room here. Now, I have to say I don't like the tie. I did untie it. It wasn't a tie, but look, if I lift up my arms at all, it's like there's cinnamon. <laughs> my roll is in full view, but this shirt, when you untie it, it buttons all the way down. There's buttons all the way down, so you don't have to tie it, which is the way I would wear it. This is exactly what I'm looking for, just the wrong color. I may see if they've got an oatmeal or a natural color. It's super cute. This would go with so many different things. I actually really like this shirt. I know it looks pretty simple, but to be honest with you, I've been looking for thermal tops, like the perfect thermal top. And to me, this is it. I really like it. So this may be going in the maybe pile. All right, so the next is this really cute gray sweater. It does have the ribbing. I don't know if it's showing on camera. Let me see. See the ribbing down the sides of the arms, which I think just dresses it up a little bit. It's sort of a tunic length, which is nice if you wanted to wear like leggings, it covers up the booty. I think it might run a little big because this is a medium and I have plenty of room. It's really cute. Just a good basic sweater. And you guys, this material is warm. Like it really is warm. It's also warm in Georgia, it's like 92 today. <laughs> but I have the air conditioning going, but this would be a nice lightweight sweater that would keep you warm. All right, I think I have one more top, I'll be right back. All right, so last I have this little navy dolman top. I will say it's very thin, I've said that about wantable material before. You can kind of see the white or the pink of my bra underneath. I didn't notice it just back in my regular mirror, so I don't know if that's the lighting. I do feel like it's the lighting because I don't see it when I stand in regular light. I feel like dolmans, that's all I'm getting in boxes lately. They are a very flattering cut. You have a little bit bigger here. 
but the arms go down and taper so it gives you the illusion of being thin and also you have this like clingy material but then it sort of drapes over so if you have a middle it's sort of flattering it's a pretty cut this boat neck cut it's really pretty I'm not a big like blue on blue girl um, so I kind of wish it was in another color but I do think it's pretty but I do think I'm gonna pass on it okay stay tuned let me um, do some thinking and I'll be right back for my recap all right so like I said before I think this is one of the best boxes I've ever received from Wentable it had the potential to be a seven of seven <laughs> I thought everything was really great if you were starting over and wanted to sort of restart your wardrobe this box would have been the perfect one to do that with the more that I looked about this I don't know I couldn't decide if I loved it or not and there were things that I loved about it but there were things that I just didn't so I'm leaning toward no on that shirt the gray sweater was cute it was nice and warm a good basic piece gray is not my best color i know a lot of you will say black is not my best color i do look better and acknowledge that i look better in color um so i'm trying to open myself up a little bit more <laughs> to color um so i'm gonna pass on that guy i feel like i have a lot of baseball shirts so in order for me to buy another one it just has to be a little bit more special than that with with saying that i just wanted to buy color i'm really really considering this thermal shirt only because you guys trust me I have looked on Amazon. I've asked my trunk club stylist for a specific top. She sent, she's sending me mustard, not, not <laughs> um, oatmeal, not her fall. Everything in thermals are just really sort of tight fitting and it's not what I wanted. I love this. So I, I am actually going to see if they have this in oatmeal. If they do, I'm going to exchange it. If not, I really am considering keeping that top. Um, the little blue shirt I can't decide when I was in regular light you couldn't see through it although I totally have said a hundred times I think wantable fabric the wantable brand fabric is too thin but I just didn't really like the color going into fall either it's a stunning color but I wear a lot of jeans and I just don't like like and I wear dark wash jeans so it just feels like you're one big like blueberry <laughs> all right and these are really nice I just have a pair of distressed Catherine boyfriend jeans from cut from the cloth but I do like the Liverpool version so if these came in like a dark wash I definitely would have considered them without the distressing and guys I think I'm going to keep this so speaking of color here it is <clears throat> my voice has been going in and out for a couple of days now I feel totally fine I'm not exactly sure what's going on but hello this is totally my color and I love that it's the perfect mix of like casual it's like sweatshirt and fleece, but with that little piece, like if you go out to the store or something, you look a little bit more dressed up. This was super warm too. So I will wear this all through when it finally gets <laughs> cooler in the fall and through winter, because I feel like this is sort of a ready orange. So I think it would go a lot through the Christmas season. I feel like I will get a ton of wear from this. So this is for sure a yes, and the thermal top is a maybe. And then I want to see what you guys think of that cream color top in the poll. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new to my channel, my name is Christy. I'm so glad that you're here. Again, I'm doing lots of clothing videos over the next probably 12 days. So stay tuned for those. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you soon for another video. Bye-bye.